Hi, it's Chris. Today we're going to go over the installation of a silverware basket, something you probably do on a daily or weekly basis. Um, but we'll take the opportunity just to replace the silverware basket and maybe just go through a few points to check while you got the door open. So we just open the door, of course, slide our rack out, remove the old silverware basket that's being replaced for whatever reason, discolored, broken pieces, whatever. Slip in the new one and it's good to go. But since we have the door open, let's just take a couple look at the things that you might overlook just because it's uh, not something you typically typically do. Just want to take a look at the door gasket, make sure it's not torn, it's not falling out of place. Uh, you can see on this one there's a little bit of dirt and stuff that's on it. Not a bad time if, to take a sponge and you know, some warm hot water and just clean that off just so that the door makes a good seal. Just allows it to keep the the hot moist air inside so you don't get any staining on your cupboards as well as allowing your temperature to come up for the dishwasher to operate properly. Um, another good idea is to just have a look inside down at your spray arm. I'll just move the basket so we can see that spray arm a little better. Just want to make sure the spray arm rotates nice and smooth. Oh and look at that. There was something that we didn't see right away. That was a spoon that missed the silverware basket or fell out. And what'll happen is they'll lay on this heating element right here. The dishwasher goes through a dry cycle. It actually heats up that metal spoon and at times it'll actually melt a hole in your tub. So for the split second it takes just to slide that basket out and have a look and make sure that there's nothing in the way. Uh, it can save you a whole lot of heartache down the road. The other thing they're saying, just check your spray arm, make sure it rotates nice and free and just take a look at the little the little holes, make sure they're clear. Look at your other spray arm, make sure it rotates well, and do the same check. Just take a look at the holes to make sure that they're clear of debris. If you do see something sticking out, just take a pair of tweezers and you can just pull it out and you'll be nice and clear. Just those few points will help make your dishwasher last longer and be more, more efficient for you and do a better job. So we'll just put our rack back in, close our door, and your repair is complete. 